Hello. I'm doing a short video about myself and my problems. I know that uh, everyone has problems, but uh, uh, my uh, problems that uh, I want to discuss, uh, you know, a, a sort of like social anxiety and avoidant personality disorder, as I think, even selective mutism. In fact, um, uh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> in my life, in my life. I don't uh, have any, you know, friends or really, such. I mean, if I happen to have a job, which I don't at the moment, then, you know, if I'm there long enough, then I might be able to be friendly with one of, you know, with a few people, let's say. You know, out of a hundred people, there might be a few couple of people, so that you might be able to speak to. But, um, you know, it's only at work to some extent because you've got a common purpose that, you know, you're working on a job or something. That you might be able to speak to people, but uh, when I'm not working as I am, as I'm, um, you know, unemployed at the moment, uh, it's very difficult, really. Because I only speak to my, my close family, really. Parents and my brother. Don't uh, speak to anybody else. There's no one else I can speak to. You know, no one I feel I can speak to. Like, uh, you know, like the neighbours or something like that. You know. I haven't spoken to any of my neighbours in years. Um, and, uh, you know, as I say, I haven't had friends really for years. You know, to go back, like, I don't know. 25 years, 30 years, something like that. I'm actually 42, so I'm fairly set in my ways and, uh, you know, once socially anxious, you know, I always like that. It's been quite difficult over the years because I left, uh, I left school, say, 25 years ago and uh, I've only been, uh, well, I have been able to get some work sometime, but not sort of work off visage when, uh, when I left school, because I, I do have a, uh, a bit of a brain, actually, but not that you believe it from the work I do, but uh, uh, but uh, there you go, I suppose. But uh, getting back to the how many, how long I've worked, I mean, in the 25 years that I left school, Probably only worked barely ten years, but spent quite a long time unemployed at, at times, you know, three to four years. Well, I've currently been unemployed for about six weeks so far, you know, and uh, trying to apply, but it's not easy really. If you haven't got any uh, confidence that you can do a job, basically. You know, you've got to, you think about a job, even a higher level job, and you've got to learn it in front of people, and that is very difficult. And then you've got the social aspects, like, uh, like uh, you know, when you're at tea break, or dinner break, that sort of thing, where usually I try to avoid people, I, I just, if I can, I'll go to my car and just stay, just hide away in there, basically, you know, or sit on my own, or, but I try to avoid going into, uh, or go, going into a cafeteria and spending a break there, for obvious reasons, really. Not uh, because I don't like to, you know, I don't want to interact with them or whatever, you know. The, even the people I might speak to are usually in groups, you know, so... I don't, you know, I might speak to one, two people sometimes, but... Not the groups that they're in, you know, only really one or two people. A handful of people out of a hundred people, so, you know. It shows you your, you know, your poor social skills. 
at, uh, at the moment I'm, I'm trying to get a, a job and it's uh, not not easy. Uh, you know, you can't you kind of got to do a try to aim for the best job you can do, whatever, or a job which which uh, st stimulates your brain a little bit. But still, that's that's that. That's that, okay.